section 21.2. In this section we're going to see the sources of uh, electric potential. So the question is what is potential energy? Well we can think in, in terms of um, gravitational potential energy. We, we know that in lifting something up we have to do some work. The work is force times distance, so it's going to be the weight times the distance that you're lifting the weight up. Once that you do that, what happens to that work? Is it lost forever? No, it gets uh, stored. You can give it back. You can get it back the hard way. So we say that gravity stores the work as potential energy. In the case of an uh, uh, electric case, let us think in, of a uniform field created by these two plates. One is a positive plate, one is a negative plate. So we have a uniform field pointing down. And now we want to move a charge, a positive charge, from point A to B. Point A being up here, point B being down here. So the work done is going to be force times distance again and the force is going to be the charge times the field times the distance and the distance is going to be the original the final height minus the original height which is the height of point B we can take a zero and the point the height of point A so what is the change in electric potential energy well, the work is equivalent to the change. The minus sign refers to who is doing the work. And in this case, it's going to be the final potential energy minus the initial potential energy. And this work is going to be equal to what we had before. So equating these two, we can find that uh, the potential energy can be expressed as the charge field times the height. This is valid only for the cases of uniform fields. And of course, if we want to know the work done per unit charge that we're moving, we just divide the work or the potential energy by the charge and we get the difference in electric potential, which in this case is going to be given simply by the field times the height. The electric potential energy in the uniform in a uniform electric field varies linearly with the position, which is Y. So, the electric potential energy ins inside of a parallel plate capacitor, remember that we call capacitor to those two positive and negative plates that set up a uniform field. So the question is, the electric potential energy, is it constant? Is it increases? inside from the negative to the positive plate? Does it decrease linearly from the negative to the positive plate? Or inversely with the distance? Or inversely with the square of the distance from the negative plate? So keep pause and think and answer. Well, we saw that before it increases linearly from the negative to the positive plate. We have to think in terms of a positive charge. If it's close to the negative charge and it moves to the positive plate, then you have to do some work in doing so. So it doesn't do it by itself. Consequently, the electric potential increases. Let's look at this case. We have uh, uncharged capacitors, and we have a positive charge that goes from point A to point B. Since there is no electric field in between, there will be no work done in going from A to B. So the potential at A is the same as the potential at B, and the change in potential energy, in potential, it is going to be equal to zero. On the other case, if we have a negative charge, negative plate, and a positive plate, then the positive charge will want to stay on this side, but if we push it to this side, then the um, 
electric potential will increase, the same as the electric potential energy. So in this case, the potential at point A is going to be larger than the potential at point B. So it is different from zero. This uh, potential difference, like in this case, is created by the charges that are separated. The positive charges are separated from the negative charges, setting up the electric field and uh, changing the potential. So it is similar to what we have in the usual case of lightnings. We're going to have some charges up here in the clouds and the reservoir of charges down here on the ground. And the lightning happens when you have uh, this large difference in electric potential that attracts the charges down. A battery is a um, method of uh, storing energy and all batteries have a negative end and a positive end and they, they are rated with uh, the voltage. So the voltage of a battery is the difference of the electric potential between the one side and the other side. Like for instance in a battery car, the difference between this pole and the other end is 12 volts. And the charges are separated by means of chemical reactions inside. They push the positive charges to one side and the negative charges to another side. If we have uh, one of those square batteries, they have a um, nine volt difference between one side and the other side. So if we connect it to a meter, like a voltmeter, then it will read something like around nine volts. The actual value depends on the circuit that we're setting it in, uh, connecting it to. In the case of um, membrane, we talked about this before. In a membrane we can have a cell, the cell wall. Inside of the cell we're going to have some elements here. Outside of the cell we're going to have a liquid with some other type of elements. So usually what happens is that we have um, a concentration of uh, uh, potassium and sodium and here a different concentration of potassium and sodium. The differences in th those concentrations will set up a difference in electric potential of 70 millivolts. The 70 millivolts are created by an imbalance of uh, potassium and sodium when we have um, an excess of sodium outside much larger than what we have inside and um, when whenever there is a possibility then there's going to be an exchange of fluids that carry um, molecules of uh, sodium in and out and it will be pushing out three molecules or ions of sodium which are charged positively In this case, we have a battery with a difference in electric potential of three volts. And this side is connected to this wire. And this side is connected to the other wire. All of these points are at the same potential, which would be three. And if we set this equal to zero, then all of these points will be at zero. So the question is, what is the difference in electric potential between points one and two? Pause, think and answer. Well, it's going to be three. All of these points are at the same potential as the this end of the battery, and all of these points will be at the same potential at this end of the battery. So whatever the, the value here and the value there are, their difference is three. In this case, we have uh, two metal spheres, a little one and a larger one, and they are connected by this metallic wire. And what do spheres one and two have in common? Do they have the same potential? Do they have the same electric field? Do they have the same amount of charge? 
or both A and B or both A and C. No, pause, think, and answer. Well, they are connect. They are uh, of the same potential because they are connected to by this metallic wire. And this is the homework for uh, section twenty one point two. Problem conceptual question six, conceptual question nine, and problems one, three, and four. This is it for section 21.2.